Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Blue Jay Acres. So today is a year of meat and poultry and all the stuff and how much that is, how much we spent, what's the breakdown, how is that going to help keep me at my tight budget uh, for the rest of the year and what is our budget, what are we going to end up spending weekly. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around and let's get started. We're going to start by showing, I am going to re-show the pork that we bought. So if you guys already saw the video and you want to fast forward it, fast forward, but that is part of the year of meat. So we're going to start with the pork that we already bought and then we're going to move into all the rest. Okay. So you guys, this is everything that we got for our pig. So over here, this is the ground pork. And like I said, I didn't have them do any seasonings at all. And actually they charge extra to do that. So I didn't even know I was saving money by doing that. So all of this right here, we have 77 one pound packages of just ground pork. Then over here we have these big shoulder roasts and we have 14 of those. And they just look, they look wonderful. So I'm very happy with it. I got two loin roasts, two little ribs because I wanted bone in pork chops. So here are all the pork chops. We got 20 pork chops all together, packages. And there's two per package. So we got 40 pork chops all together. And it goes on back there too. And then we did get the fat so that I can render some lard. We got the neck bones for making bone broth and soups. And then we have the uncured bacon and we have 16 packages of bacon. And that looks great as well. So that's it. That's what we got. Like I said, I wanted everything pretty much ground up other than I wanted to make sure we had the roast and the chops and of course bacon. So that is our one whole pig. All together it was 225 pounds. So that should last us for quite a while. Look at all this meat you guys. This is just, it's a half a cow. I don't think we've ever had this much beef in our house. It's pretty awesome bigger than my arms can stretch. So now let's talk about what all we got and what are the prices. Okay, so here we go, all the beef. Okay, so this is the lard or the fat, the beef fat, and I'm gonna turn that into tallow. I did ask for that. Then you guys, these sirloin steaks are, I just don't even know if you can understand, that's my hand. These are like, they look like Fred Flintstone steaks. <laughs> And we have uh, six of them, and they are just humongous. That's the sirloin steaks. And then we got T-bones, 13 T-bone steaks. Then we have these round steaks. You guys, these are so huge that they are folded over, if you can see that. All these round steaks, they are folded in half. They're just huge. And we have five of those. Then we have one flank steak. And then we go into the ribeyes. That's still a, those are T-bones still. Here's the ribeyes. And we got, we got 12 ribeyes. They go all the way back. Then here I've got two bags of soup bones. And then here we have chuck roast. You can see all the chuck roasts. We have seven big chuck roasts. I think I told them just maybe two big of cuts, but it's all right, we're learning. Shoulder roast, I have two, but they are humongous. Tip roast, I have two, but they are very big. And then I have two rump roasts here. And then over here, you guys, we have 95 pounds of ground beef, 95. Now, I think had I told him smaller cuts on all of these steaks, then it would have been like double that amount because one of these like sirloin steaks, <laughs> literally, 
is going to feed a lot of my family. <laughs> they are humongous. So that will uh, definitely last us a while. So the other thing that this gave us just an idea of is what it will look like when we have our cow butchered um, in December, the end of December, because it will be a whole cow versus a half. And I definitely will do a few things different than I did. Like I said, these steaks are massive. I would have them cut smaller. I got the roast massive. They really could have all been cut in half. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. It's just what I would change and have things cut a little bit smaller so it's like double the meat because we won't go through such big amounts, I don't think. We'll see what happens. You guys will see me cook it as we go along. But now I'm going to show you guys then, get all this put away, and I'm going to show you guys our chicken and our fish, and then we'll go over totals. All right, so here is my chicken and fish. So Charles and I love, we're the only fish eaters besides Jake. We love cod. So I got a big box of cod and we love shrimp. So I got a big box of shrimp. Um, there is quite a lot of shrimp in here. And I did get large, raw shrimp. So there's five big bags, of two pounds each. So there is 10 pounds of shrimp here. And then I got three boxes of chicken. So there is, um, let's see, there is 48 chicken. And down here you can see it, 48 chickens, six ounces each. And I got three boxes. So that's 144 chicken breasts. Now that should last us about six months. And I'll tell you why I just did that here in a minute. Now that is packaged like this. So the chicken breasts are just here in this individual little trays. So I've got to find a way to package those better. But why I only did six months worth of the chicken breasts is because then our chickens will be ready. So we only need chicken to hold us for six months. I wasn't gonna even get chicken at all, but I don't wanna go six months without chicken. We do have chicks in the incubator, but because we don't do meat birds, we do dual purpose birds, it takes six months to raise them out until they are ready. So once we have our chickens being done and coming routinely, we will not have to buy chicken again. But for right now, I just went with boneless, skinless chicken breast because that's the most versatile, and I got three boxes. So, like I said, that is uh, 48 in each box, and I got three boxes. Now, I do have a vacuum sealer that was my mother's, and I think there's some bags in it. So I'm going to have to do something with this cod because it came like this, um, just in a big box, open box. I will have to figure that out. The shrimp, though, came perfect. It will store fine just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you guys a look at outside into our freezers and how we organized all this meat. Then we'll talk cost. Okay, so in this first freezer, we have pork. So this is all of our pork chops and pork roast. We did still have three hams left and it also has ribs. We have four big things of ribs. And it has the pork lard that we're gonna render, or the fat that we're gonna render into lard. So this one is all just pork. <coughs> this freezer is all ground pork on this side and all ground beef on this side. So we didn't end up spending $500 and getting two freezers. We decided to go with that. It was better price per cubic foot. And so, uh, we did one, it's just ground, so everything is, like I said, it's either ground beef or ground pork. Then the next one is the poultry and seafood and tofu kind of section. So we had some tofu, I had some other fish going on, we still had a turkey and a turkey breast from the holidays. I have a whole tur a whole chicken, but I've got that in a fridge defrosting. This has then all of the boxes of chicken at the bottom, the cod 
and the shrimp and then just a few odds and ends of pieces of like salmon that I had already so that is our fish poultry and tofu and then here is the big freezer and this is all the beef that we just got and then in the door is just some ready-made these are what I grab for Charles's lunches either it's meatloaf or it's ham and I just grab those and throw them in his lunchbox and then I got the bones and the fat and then down here is leftover bacon or just the bacon because it's overflow from the other pork freezer so that's how we got all of that organized all right so now what you guys have been waiting for let's talk cost so the cost for our pig was eight hundred dollars was it eight hundred even okay so the total for the pork was 806.25 all right, and then the beef was $1,632. That one we're still trying to wrap around. We feel like we should have had more beef than what we got. I mean, it's still a ton. But we're trying to figure out if that was the best deal or not. But here from now on, it will be our own cow, so the price will go way down. Those of you that have bought a half of a cow before, let me know how that ranks and if my food that I showed you looks like the same amount of beef that you got. And um, it's not that I think the guy was crooked or anything by any means. Please don't anybody think that. It just was less than what we were thinking. And that happened the first time we bought pork too. But the second time, we didn't feel like that. So um, just let me know what you guys, if you've bought beef before, how that looks when you get it. But anyway, that was $1,632 for that half a beef. Okay, and at Gordon's Food... Um, I the cod was $69.99 for a box of cod. It was $79.95 for a <laughs> box of shrimp. And then $260.97 for the three boxes of chicken breast. So all together that was $410.91. Alright, so all together that is $2,800 $2,849.16. And that is for all of our meat now for the rest of this year okay so we started with forty dollars a week when we had sorry adjusting the seat when we had 44 weeks left in the year so 44 weeks with forty dollars a week leaves us with one thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars over the span of the year now we had already spent a thousand and ten dollars in the first two months because we were doing five hundred dollars a month and i went over by a little bit so we had already spent a thousand and ten dollars all right so that total is five thousand six hundred nineteen dollars and sixteen cents that's our total that we will have spent for the whole year come the end of the year now if you divide that by 12 that ends up being four hundred and sixty eight dollars for the year now i'm still going to say we're going to come in at like five hundred dollars because there are a couple things like that i didn't show you i went over a little um for Kate's birthday because I needed to buy some stick butter and I needed to buy some Hershey Kisses for her cookies so there are little things like that that I'm gonna need to buy throughout plus there is still that stuff that I need to buy for Luke here and there or Theo so mostly Luke like his juice and things like that so that will still end up being $500 a month is what I'm going to go with so I will show you guys each week what I'm buying. I'm not doing the milk anymore, the special dairy purchase that I was doing. I just couldn't justify it anymore when I didn't notice that big of a difference. And I just, I couldn't justify it because I was spending half of my money on just some milk and butter and maybe one small little thing of cheese. And somebody said, well, weren't you only doing 20 on produce last week? I, or dairy last week I went over and I was 25, but I'd only done 15 in the produce. Now I do have a lot of already my grains and stuff like that, baking needs, but if I do need any of that, that would also come out of that $40 a week. Um, but yeah, so you guys want to see how we're going to do it and how we're going to make it and we're going to come in at $500 a month or less by the end of the year, then make sure you stick around, subscribe and uh, give a big thumbs up. Also. I did go by and get my flash foods order today, so I will share that with you guys. Um, that's what I got for this week here in just a minute. And I also wanted to say real quick why we decided to do it. One is security. Security that we have freezers full of all of our food. We do have a backup generator. 
but our freezers are full and that's a very good security. It also ends up costing less by the time you buy everything in bulk. We're still figuring out the beef and exactly what the benefit, what we save doing that. Um, but we can eat things like steak and great big, you know, huge steaks like from dinosaur days. <laughs> Some of those sirloin steaks look like. But we can have steak and all the other fancier meats because we are we bought it in bulk where otherwise we wouldn't necessarily be able to have that and while i was trying to shop all the sales and just do flash foods or a lot of it anyway i was able to get some chicken breasts some chicken wings a lot of sausages and that type of stuff but that was really kind of some ground beef not the same variety and definitely not the same quality the quality of getting it fresh from a farmer by you <coughs> is so different it, it just tastes so much better so I just wanted to throw that in there and that's why we decided to go this route. Also, those of you that are worried about, well, you're supposed to be paying your debt off. Now you just went and spent this money. Well, at the end of the year, it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna be the same amount of money I would have spent. We're just spending it up front. But we also did, uh, I'll just give you that update now. We did put 10,000 down on our debt. Um, so we were able to do that and still left us room to get the freezer and to have the money up front for all the meat. So, that is what we did. All right, here is our flash food order. I wanna share that with you guys and then we're gonna go for the day. All right, you guys, so here is this week's flash foods. It's kinda of noisy here. So, this one had a couple heads of lettuce, had some celery, some romaine, and that's all that was in that one. This one has peppers and apples and lemons. The peppers just need to be used. And of course oranges. This one's lots of oranges and apples and a few lemons, which is great because I want to make lemonade while the girls are home. This one's a bunch of potatoes, onions, oranges, and apples. So I'm gonna set it all out and I'll show you guys. All right, so here is our $20 worth of produce this week. Again, you can see all the peppers, lots of apples, lots of oranges. I did have one I needed to throw out, but I did get these from my regular store, so this time the boxes look much better. Uh, all the potatoes, all the onions, again, the lettuces and celery, total of three lemons. Up oh, and that orange goes back there with oranges. So that's everything from Flash Foods today. All right, I almost forgot to show. I also had gotten at Flash Foods because everybody's home. So I did go over my $20 for produce. These were $3 a piece, I did 26. So that's just a little bit less that I'll spend on dairy. Um, but now I needed more veggies, so I forgot about those. So $26 total for all of this. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you tomorrow for a full day of what we're eating and how we're staying on a tight budget. Bye, everybody.